Hi Gemini, welcome to your Heart's Truth reading for February 15th through March 14th. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below as well as the Recommend a Reader shout out which goes to Guided Intuition. Love and support to her. Check her out. Show her some love and support. This is intended to be a romantic love reading but it may resonate in other areas of your life. Also, this could corroborate or relate to yours or your person's moon rising or Venus sign. And my voice is shot. I don't know what's going on. I feel fine, but it's been going in and out. So you might hear me yodeling in a little bit. <laughs> All right, Gemini. What do we got for your harsh truth? How you doing, Gemini? Three of Wands. All right. Eight of Swords, Seven of Wands, Strength, that could be Leo, Nine of Pentacles, get it, Queen of Cups, Chariot, that could be Cancerian, this could be Cancerian, all right, okay, huh. what's, this, what's this Eight of Swords about, this doesn't feel like you're trapped though, feels like you're not wanting to rush something. You're laying low for a reason. Look at this. Seven, eight, nine. Two sevens, two eights, and one nine. Seven, eight, nine. Wow. So we've got being made aware of something. A new understanding brought to something here. It's just eight of swords. Is that why you're waiting? I don't know. That doesn't feel like fear, though. It feels like you're just not ready to make a decision yet. What's this Seven of Wands about? Whoopsie. Hello. Mother. All right. What's this Seven of Wands about? The Gemini. Knight of Pentacles. That could be Taurus. All right. What's this, what's this Nine of Pentacles about then? Because... What, hmm? What's this Nine of Pentacles? Five of Wands. Wow. This is Queen of Cups. Okay. Nine of Cups. What's this strength card? Jeez Louise, this is, it's so weird how the, kind of like there's this like movement to where all of the fire signs, or the fire signs have like to varying degrees, there's, there's a lot of similarities. And then same thing with air signs, earth signs. It's been that way across the board, like, um, actually all the time, but it's just, it's the way it feels. It's, it's interesting. Okay. Sorry. What's this strength part about? Because <clears throat> this feels, well, it feels like you don't want to make a decision about something or that you're not ready to, or that you're kind of wanting to stand your ground on how you want things to be. And you've got someone that just doesn't understand why, but that what just explain to me why so I can shoot holes in it. That's what that means. I just don't understand why though. I don't need you to understand why. No is a complete sentence. I said no. I said I need time. Why? No. No. And it, I, I hate to like, you know, if you care about somebody, if you, but if it comes to that, it's like, look, you, this is not about you trying to convince me. I got my own brain. I can think for myself here, but it just, mm. There's people out there that are, and it's not, I'm not, when I say people out there, there's a couple other signs. I think, I want to say Taurus or Capricorn, and then there was, I think it was Sag, kind of similar to this. Like someone was being like, no, wait a second, wait a second. It's like, da da da. What's his strength card about for Gemini? I'm over here ranting. My voice is going to go, that, that's where my voice should have gone out. What's his strength card about? Could be Leo. Seven, good gracious, five and seven of wands. Four, five, seven of wands. All right, hold on here. Now, so we've got you not wanting to make a decision. You're just not ready to make a decision. And it, this could be, we could be talking about somebody that's moved out or is not sure if they want things to progress in a relationship that you kind of like the way things are right now. And this is someone, um, it could be that they're pushing for more 
and you're like, you know, I just, I got a lot going on. I don't want to do that right now. I don't want to, I don't want things to change. And they want things to change. And they're kind of insistent about it. And it could lead to some arguments or some tiffs. Um, and you both, it's, you like your idea of the way things, you want things to be. And they like their idea. And that's why you two are butting heads. Because they want, and you they want things to progress or to move forward and you like things the way for the Gemini's I'm reading for you like things the way they are because there's a bit of you being able to still preserve yourself. Um, this could be someone coming back to say they're sorry. This could be someone wanting to take things to the next level and you're like, no, I've got too much going on in my life right now. I, I like things the way they are. And but either way, this person is not wanting to take no for an answer. Um, hmm. not in a creepy stalker way, but I just, I feel like they're really insistent. Um, and I think it's because they, they want to feel like there's this connection. They want, they want to have their own special somebody. Nothing wrong with that. But the thing is the special somebody has got to want to be with you the same level also. Like you can't be convincing for you can't you can't be advocating for why someone should care about you you know what i mean or, or i don't know after a certain point it gets kind of awkward i guess it's it could very well be that this is someone that's kind of wanting to just lock this down because then everything they could check off a few boxes in their life and maybe you're sensing that and that's why you're kind of like no not yet i don't know yet and don't push me otherwise it's going to push me out but this is someone that's kind of got, they're just really wanting to have security in this part of their life. And it's, you're just not ready to make a decision. Simple as that. What's this cherry? Well, it's not as simple as that, but you know what I mean. What's this cherry the belt? The, the moon. The uh, High Priestess. This could be Pisces or Cancerian. What else? For Gemini. What else for Gemini? For Gemini. Uh, King of Pentacles. That could be Virgo. So, <laughs> here's the thing. Um, you. It feels like both of you are kind of like it's kind of like you're doing like this, like someone's trying to outthink someone else's argument. Okay. When I say someone, I mean them because I think the more this person kind of tries to, well, just explain to me why. And you do. And then they shoot holes in it or they try to renegotiate. No, you don't feel that way. This is what you're thinking. Oh, oh really? Is, is that what I'm thinking? Cause I don't know my own brain. Like, thank you so much. Really? Hold on a minute. Water. So, <clears throat> I mean, it, it couldn't, it doesn't have to be that extreme, but this, it feels like your person is really wanting you to see things their way because they want what they want because it's all about them needing to feel a certain level of security and safety and happiness through connection with you. Not just friendship, but the, the exclusive romantic type connection, right? And you're just like, the all bets are off. I don't know what I want. The more this person pushes, the more you are going to recede if you haven't already. To the point where it's just like a complete turnoff. Um, so this is someone that is really wanting to get things off the ground and is kind of digging their heels in. And you're not wanting to really, you're not wanting things to change. Or you're not wanting to reconcile. Or you're not wanting, because you, part of it is, is because um, you got other things going on in your life and you don't want to lose your independence. But then it becomes about feeling like, yeah, my in, my independence is kind of under threat here because you're not listening to me. It should be enough that I just say, I'm not ready. You don't want me if I'm not ready. Trust me. Like, why would you, you know what I mean? Let's, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'll take care of everything. All you have to do is show up. I don't want that. I want to be present. I don't just have to mindlessly zombie show up. I want to be present. I want to be there when I'm ready. You got to trust me that I will be. Oh, wait, you don't? Now we have a problem. That, okay. Cause that's what this feels like. It feels like this is someone's going, can, can you just say the words? Can you just do it? We'll, we'll, we'll sort it out later, but I need to know this and that. And you're like, what? Wait, why? 
Because that's the same type of person in extreme cases that would come back and go, well, you said that this would, it's like, yeah, but I said that under duress. I said that because you wanted me to say that and I thought it would make you feel better. And at the time I thought, oh, okay, I could try this on or yeah, okay. I, but you said, oh boy, we got a problem. Stage five clinger. Could be, could be not. But in, in the extreme cases, this could be someone that's really just, it's a means to an end. What else for Gemini? Gemini. Good. Okay. Okay, yay. <laughs> um, I, I like the shift in direction that you might be looking elsewhere or like keeping this relationship at bay if you're still connected and looking at job prospects, looking at other schools, looking at living in a different city. This is about you wanting more out of your own life. And if this relationship fits in that, okay. But this is, you're not, for the Geminis I'm reading for, you're not relationship focused right now. That you've got some things in the works, um, pretty optimistic about your future. You've been working really hard in other areas of your life. You're wanting to wait and see if that pans out. For your person, Gemini, you are what they're focused on. They're, they don't, it could be that they don't have a lot going on in their um, other areas of their life or that's already up and running for them. So now the last thing to check off on their list was a relationship and you're very important to them. So this could be um, that you're not ready because you're still waiting on other, other things. You're still wanting to do other things and to go other places or live here or check on this job or what, you know, there's, there's still that creating period for you and your person doesn't have those distractions or interests. So you are everything to them. Whereas your interests are varied and this relationship is kind of equal, the importance for it is kind of equally shared across the board. Like if not a little less, just because you want to get a career off the ground or you got to decide where you're going to live or you got, there's a lot going on that you're prioritizing as you should. It's your life. And for someone to kind of want more from you, it's, it, it's going to backfire because you'll choose your own security and your own trajectory over partnership because it's your life. You want to have that up and running before you partner with somebody for the Gemini's I'm reading for. So while you're there, everything, your everything is still waiting to be seen or waiting to be developed or created. <clears throat> All right. What else for Gemini? What else for Gemini? They might even say, well, you know what? I'll, I'll wait right here for you. Or, well, I'm not, but you, when you're ready, you can come find me or whatnot. And the thing is, they mean it because they, this is someone that is like, they're, they want this. They feel very strongly about this. It, kind of got my spidey senses tingling. <laughs> like there's a bit of a stubbornness to this. Um, but I, I like that you're pushing back, that you're not, you're not gonna, you'll, you'll go when you're ready or you'll do when you're ready. This could be um, bickering, pettiness, but this could also be reduced interaction or conversation this could be only conversing over you know like through a third party medium through like social media or um a you know family member friend or but this it could be really minimal conversation because maybe you ask you know for some time like i need some time to think I need some time to think and nobody's getting past unless i let them unless i let them i'm firm on that it could very well be that you put your foot down <clears throat> what else for Gemini? Gemini. Uh -huh. Okay, so you're at the beginning. Maybe you just did. Like you just went dark or you just, not dark, but you went, just went like silent, removed. And it has put you in a position to where you can start focusing on other things that are important to you and what you want to focus on and what you want to get off the ground and start for yourself and, and be excited about and be optimistic about and, and having to worry about this person and how they have their feelings about you wanting to or not wanting to be in a relationship with them has kind of been taking its toll and kind of robbing you of being able to focus on what you want. Um, so this is, it, it's good because you're in a position now to where you can take action and you can start things growing, creating, being proactive about things. You can start investing and planning 
all of that, but it, it's your investing, your planning, what you want to do. And ideally this tree would be filled with leaves, you know what I mean? So this is, you've just been, it's like, it's almost like you've just been, not, I want to say liberated because you're still in this, but you're in a position now, you've kind of made it clear your position on things, which has let you be able to start focusing or refocusing on things that you want, career, it feels like there's a move. It feels like some of you, well, I mean, I say some of you, it's entirely possible because, you know, there's more than six people watching the videos now. <laughs> but it feels, well, there's the move, duh. Okay, so physical move. But just looking, but it, on, a, on a bigger scale, moving because of a new job also, moving because of school or like, it's like an in tandem with something. There's changes that beget other changes that beget other changes and other priorities like moving because you're going to school and now you need to get your classes and you need whatever. Moving and then you got to set up this and that because you got a new job. Um, moving, got to sell your car because you're moving to where it's just public transit. So it's, it's like one decision begets all these other little mini decisions that you really want to be able to focus on and manage, not a relationship and someone that wants to lock it down and then kind of, you are all of a sudden swept away in this coupleship and you're like, but wait, I still want to set this part of my life up. So you are primed for action now. Leaves need to start coming up on this tree. <laughs> and you get to, you get to, you get to turn away from this and focus on what you want for the future. The thing is you're not done unless you want to be right, but you've just minimized your interaction but they still feel like you two are a couple or like you two are in this. They still feel, um, I, it feels like they're just, they're waiting on you. They're waiting you out. They're waiting for you. This is someone that's not budging. They, they're still making a very strong case for wanting this connection. It's almost like a should you, like why you should in extreme cases. And that's, that for many would be problematic because that's just straight up pushy and it's like what what are you doing you, you're like you, you if we're at the crossroads and you're doing this what am I in for if I commit to you fully and then you think you can control my life or you have ultimate access or decision making power in my life like we're I'm still deciding and you're trying to convince me and push me and drag me and what you know what I mean this, I, this is got okay it just got weird okay right. what else for Gemini Gemini. 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 Oh, there it is. High Priestess reverse, so that could be um, Cancer or Pi <laughs> Piscean. All right, Cancerian or Pisces, and the Fool. Good. Okay, so this it feels like your going in a different direction and you're not wanting to talk about it. You're not wanting to have to explain it. You're not wanting to have to wait. You're not wanting to have to manage somebody else's feelings so that you can get to your own feelings or your own projects or your own things. This is you wanting a new start and maybe you're not waiting for this person or you're not going to give them a sec an answer. You're not, maybe you aren't. It doesn't feel like you are. It feels like they're just a low priority and you're not, you're not giving them any consideration right now. Like you're not worried about how they feel. And it could also be that you're not listening to how you feel. Um, that your partner is not listening to how you feel or listening. You're not listening to um, that inner voice, that guidance that would tell you this is not such a good idea about this new start, that someone's really wanting to pressure you or rush you into things and you're not taking time to be able to listen to your inner voice, listen to how you feel. Maybe they're not listening to how you feel and what you want, all in the name of let's get this new beginning off the ground. Let's get this, let's get this going. Let's get, come on, come on, come on. And no, this is where your focus needs to be on yourself and your stuff, not, not reconciling or doing what this person wants and, on, and in their time frame. This is your time now. It's time to take action. So do it. This person can wait. They've been apparent according to them. They've been waiting forever, so they can just wait some more, because you 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 get to do you. I don't let anybody push you around. Mm -mm. You get to do what you want. My voice is gonna go out. I know it. All right, Gemini. 
I hope this was helpful. Um, please, you know, take the time that you need. You don't, you, what do we owe each other, right? But this is, this is someone that is infringing at this point. They need to give you your space and back off and you deserve your own space. You've got other things going on and they're, I think they're having a hard time accepting that. Okay. All right. I hope this was helpful. Um, hope to see you in the next reading. Uh, I thank you for stopping by. Take care.